Namaste and welcome to another reading from Ashtavakra Gita. So far, I've read three chapters. In the first one, to recap, King Janaka asks Sage Ashtavakra how to attain knowledge, detachment, liberation. Sage Ashtavakra tells him in chapter 2, King Janaka realizes his true nature and in a state of absolute rapture, he describes the joy and wonder of true seeing or of self-recognition. In chapter 3, the Guru, Sage Ashtavakra, is very happy for Janaka, but spots inconsistencies and very firmly and clearly uh, shares some verses on attachment to worldly pleasure, which includes a true, a true and complete seeing. Now I am reading chapter 4 in which King Janaka asserts that a knower of Brahman or the true seer or sage is equal to the Lord of the universe and can do as he pleases. This is a state most seekers would encounter on the path. When the magnitude of merging the individual into the cosmic has just dawned, it's likely that the seeing could perhaps not be very stable and clear and would appear that such a one could do as he pleases. It's lucky that King Janaka is addressing this to his guru who is going to spend no time in clearing that misconception. In any case, King Janaka goes about stating in chapter 4 what he believes or what he what is his seeing at that point in his path, on his path. In just six short stanzas that a true seer is not accountable and can do as he pleases. This chapter is aptly titled as Glorification of Self-Realization. So King Janaka said, Surely one who knows himself, though he plays the game of life, differs greatly from the world's bewildered, burdened beasts. Truly, the yogi feels no elation, though he abides in the exalted state, yearned for by Indra and all the discontented gods. Surely, one who knows that is not touched by virtue or vice, just as space is not touched by smoke, though it seems to be. Who can prevent the great soul who knows the universe as self? from living life as it comes. Of the four kinds of beings, from Brahma to a blade of grass, only the sage can renounce aversion and desire. Rare is he who knows himself as one with no other, the lord of the universe. He acts as he knows and is never afraid. So these are the six verses shared by King Janaka 
to his guru sage ashtavakra where there is a shade or a tad of personhood still lingering in his words that his guru can smell so in the next chapter sage ashtavakra points king janaka to self dissolution to complete and total dissolution So with that we end this reading from Ashtavakra Gita thank you bye bye